All right, so fake naturals are a big problem in the fitness community. And in this video, I wanted to explore this a little bit and talk about why this is a big problem. All right, let's get into it. Just an introduction real quickly for those who may not know me. Um, I've uh, had a pretty decent fitness transformation. I started lifting a few years ago. I'll put up some pictures of my transformation somewhere. And in this channel, I kind of talk about my journey and uh, the steps I've taken to hopefully help you achieve a fitness transformation of your own uh, if you're on a similar path. So if that sounds interesting at all, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the content. So by the way, I have some notes in front of me. If I'm looking down at any point, I'm just looking at my notes. So firstly, I just want to talk about kind of my start and my struggles with things like body dysmorphia and such and how this fake natural, um, you know, problem uh, fed into it and made it worse, right? So, and also some people have just sidetracked. Some people have complained about the audio a little bit. Thank you very much for that feedback. Uh, I've put the mic closer up, so let me know if this sounds better. Um, but basically, when I started my fitness journey, I was like a very, very skinny guy. I basically had a skinny fat physique. And I started trying to look like these uh, fitness influencers that I would see on Instagram and such. And I'm not going to call any of them out particularly in this video. The point of this video is not to incite drama, but rather to really be informative to people who, who are in the, at the start of their journey and aren't aware of this problem. So I started trying to look like these people, right? And I realized I never could quite achieve the transformations they achieved. How they look like in a year or two years of training wasn't quite how I was looking. And I always felt that this was because, okay, maybe I'm not working hard enough. Maybe, um, you, you know, I'm not having my nutrition as locked down as they are. It's just an effort thing, right? Maybe I need to buy their workout plan in order to uh, understand how to, how to really look like them, right? And this greatly increased my struggles with uh, body dysmorphia. Um, so even though I had achieved pretty good results for a year to two years of lifting, I didn't feel that way at all. I was still very, very insecure. Now, of course, you know, I was insecure before too. That's why I started my fitness journey. So I'm not trying to say like, you know, the fake naturals made me completely insecure and ruined my life. Like I, I had the insecurity problem before too. But the problem, uh, the rather the point that I'm trying to make here is this, you know, era of uh, of people who are, who are on Instagram and such claiming to be natural when they're not they set very, very unrealistic body expectations, which when someone like myself or, or anyone else who are on their fitness journey, when they look at that, they you start to feel a little shitty about yourself. Honestly, it's like, you know, they could look like that within two years. Why couldn't I achieve it? What have I done wrong? What do you know? What what secret sauce am I am I missing here? Right. And it, you can kind of start to get down on yourself with that. And uh, I think for some people's mental health, it can really be quite uh, you know, a significant impact. So um, that's why I personally have a problem with it. And that's why I'm uh, speaking out about it a little bit in this video. Now, as I started to go further along my journey, right, I also started to become friends with some people who use PEDs and some people who are kind of more familiar with it. And through my own research as well, through YouTube, etc., I started to find out that a lot of these guys that I looked up to, who I thought were natural, were not, in fact, natural, right? So this was kind of my epiphany moment. And what I would compare this to is, you know, we all kind of know this, this issue that exists on the plastic surgery side of things, where some uh, women will go out and, you know, clearly get surgery or, or some sort of work done on like their glutes, for example. And then uh, they'll claim to be all natural and then they'll be selling like programs or just, um, you know, kind of advertising uh, on Instagram uh, or, or other means, right? So we know that this problem exists. I think this is fairly uh, well known across uh, society in general. And this issue of people using steroids and then complaining to be uh, complaining, uh, pretending to be natural, right, is it, along the similar lines. It presents a body image that is unrealistic to achieve naturally, claims it to be natural, and then they just put it on. Oh, I'm working harder than you. Oh, I'm doing this. Like, no, you're not. You're on drugs. You know, that, that's what it really is. So again, it, it just puts unrealistic expectations. And I can say for myself, it definitely um, wasn't the best. It wasn't best for my mental health as I was going through my fitness journey. So I want to conclude this by talking about the sad part about this whole situation. Perhaps the most sad part about the whole situation is even though, you know, I'm speaking out about it. And I'm not I'm not a huge YouTube channel. But a lot of other YouTube channels have speaking out about, have spoken out about it. There's still a huge practical benefit to being a fake natural, right? 
And it, it, the be practical benefit is if you're a fake natural, you know, you pretend, pretend to be natural when you're not. Obviously, um, you know, a lot of these guys, they, they look phenomenal, right? Like regardless of natural, not natural, they do look very, very good. So companies want to sponsor them. There's the money aspect. Um, of course, you get more followers. And it, just from a business point of view, there's so many advantages to it. Obviously, there are just like life advantages as well. When you look better, things start to, uh, you know, get better in terms of like, you know, people start to perceive you a little bit differently and such. So there's a lot of practical benefit to it in that sense. And there is a lot of benefit on the business side. So that's uh, kind of the sad part about it, right? There is a huge benefit. And that's, of course, why people do it. And with all that being said, I still think it is an absolute scumbag move, right? And I wish it was something that more people were aware of. It's it definitely I wish this, it was something I was aware of when I started my journey. And, you know, the last part I really want to say about it is it really it, it, so I feel strongly about it. And I hope that comes comes across in this video, because I do strongly believe this worsens our problem of unrealistic beauty standards and uh, body dysmorphia. Right. Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. This is the definition of an unrealistic beauty standards is literally exactly what this is you just cannot get on that level naturally right or at least most people can maybe if you have like the top 0.001 percent of genetics you can get a physique similar to someone who's on drugs naturally but 99.9 .9 percent of people can so it really feeds into that problem of like body dysmorphia unrealistic beauty expectations and those are things that can weigh on certain people's uh, mental health uh, very heavily right so it is something to be taken seriously in conclusion all I really want to say, you know, if you're at the start of your journey, um, if you if you don't believe me and, and you still think, um, you know, someone you're looking up to is natural. I, and by the way, I don't mean to say everyone's not natural. Right. So maybe the person you're looking up to is truly natural. But if you don't believe me that this is a fairly prevalent problem in the industry, then um, that's fine. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't really have any issue with it. I just wanted to get this message out um, and just say that. What I wish someone would have told me at the start of my journey is to just focus on your own, you know, focus on being better than you were before. And that way, I think uh, your fitness journey will be a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable. Right. And that's really all I have to say with this video as far as uh, concluding it. I'm going to put up my Instagram, TikTok somewhere over here. Please do follow and support. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe here as well. Any questions, drop them down in the comments. I always respond, or you can DM me, and I'll respond on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.